What's good? What's good? Peace, God. It's all my great and amazing people out there, man. Let's talk about it, man. <clears throat> Meek Mill, man. Let's start off with this Meek Mill situation, man. His line about Kobe or whatever like that. <sighs> How can I say this, man? I, I said this in one of my other videos, man. I felt like Meek Mill, legitimately, legit, right? All his press has been bad press. From the $20 to the kid, you know what I mean? The situation with 6 ix 9 it's like every time that Meek Mill get into these media situations, he always come out with the, with the L. And it keep happening, and it keep happening over and over again. You dig what I'm saying? And then, like, when you look at it and he responds to his action, he make it even worse. Just like with the kids, he was saying, oh, they was going to buy some weed and this and that. It's like, bro, you can't say stuff like that, man. It makes no sense to say that. Then you drop the line about the Kobe thing. That's supposed to be a live line and everybody like, that shit was garbage. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. Then 6 9 situation. Whack 100 and multiple other stand-up guys said, why? If, if you was going to entertain it, why you ain't go ahead and swing on? Because a, a real G would have just walked away. Now, if, like I said before, if you was going to stand there and, and let a nigga spit at you and all that, you might well have balled him up. But like I said, me, I personally, I would just walk the other way. wouldn't even want to be paying attention to him. They had press again for Meek Mill. You know what I mean? It's an accumulation of this same thing going back and forth over and over. Then we got the young um, M.A. situation with Kodak Black. Now she's supposed to be coming out, you know what I mean, saying what she said, right? I'm like, listen, man. <laughs> Like, like I told people before, man, what, what's ended up happening is it, it's like being around a bunch of people, right? That tell, tell a lie all the damn time. And then you, you find out that, that, that what the truth really is. And a lot of people is getting busted red handed. You know what I mean? And like I said before, 6ix9ine pulled up on Meat Mill and he had, uh, a bunch of security and all of that stuff with him. You know what I mean? Rightfully so, but. Is the imagery and the stuff they saying in the lyrics that don't match up with what they actually really doing. And that's what's going on with this whole situation. And this is why, nigga, when people look at this meat meal and all these different individuals talking gangster and saying all this type of thing, man, it just don't hit home no more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody got security guards, but they ain't, they ain't running with the security. What they, they is running with security. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... The meat meal thing to me, man, it's, it's, it's nothing new. And that's just how I feel about it, man. It's nothing new. I'm not shocked behind anything at this point. I just feel like the world, I don't know, he disappointed a lot of people, man. That's what I feel. I feel like he's like he, he disappointed a lot of people with the things he's saying and the things that he's doing. And I think what, what, what's, what's going on with me at this point, right, is his relationship with that he had with Nicki saying them from the Drake thing. And then his relationship with like Drake and all them other artists. Like even when you see me in the videos with like Lil Baby and Dirt, it looks so awkward and weird. Like, you know what I'm saying? He actually looked like an old head in their videos. It's not like when you see Gucci Man with Pooh Shice there, no, it don't look the same. It's just be looking crazy to me. You know what I mean? The vibe ain't there. You feel me? Cause it's like, I don't know, bro. I just think that the meat the whole meat meal thing is like it's, it's, it's just gone, bro. Like, I mean, seriously, like, when I look at it, I feel like it's gone, man. And it's the antics that keep happening on the internet, bro. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like, what the fuck? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like the, the continuation of then, like I said before, when T.I. did what he did to try to make me look good, it just made it look even more stupid. It's like, bro, everybody expected you to post that shit. So it's like, it's going to look dumb as hell at this point. You know what I mean? Like, don't look dumb. It's like, don't even do that shit. Like, just let it do what it do, man. But like I said, it, like I said, every time you see me in the media or anything like that, it's always on some shit like this, some negative ass shit or something fucked up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, it got to come a, a point in time in a man's life where he, he reflect on these situations and events and just fall back from the stupid stuff. That's all I be saying, bro. Like, you got to you gotta go away from that shit because it's just going to look crazy when you keep moving into that direction. And the shit is looking weird, man. The lying about Kobe, the $20 to the kids, the 6 9 situation. These shit just keep piling up, keep piling up, keep piling up. And it's, it's a cycle, bro. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, 
then everything you do that's that's supposed to be a genuine and genuine and respectfully it just don't look right then a dj academic shit nigga was like all the way gangsta on that in that video he was going gangsta as hell on that video on, on that not video but the the clubhouse shit bro was like hella gangsta on that shit you sitting out like damn he was like motherfucking tony montana in that bitch you know what i'm saying the godfather type of shit skyface he was like on that type of shit Everybody sitting out like, damn, me, like, <laughs> you going so crazy on academia, that's a regular citizen, bro, like, this shit, let's just start looking goofy to everybody, like, damn, bro, like, because you got to think about, you got real, real, real stand-up guys uh, fucking with me, you got Mike Knox, you got uh, a <laughs> couple of niggas from Philly, real solid people, and then when they see this shit, it's like, you know what I mean? You go back to all the 50 cent shit. Everything 50 was saying. Like, you signed to a correctional officer. You got this lady that ran it on the whole cartel running with you. You run around with security. Fucking 6 9 ran up on you, spit on you. You ain't do nothing. Like, bro, this, like, now it's looking crazy. Like, you know what I mean? Now everything 50 was saying is starting to re, re, re its face back up. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it, it don't look good. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like, I don't know, bro. Like, that. At this point, man, I'm looking at me. He could probably put out a decent album or whatever, but character-wise, I think that's what it, that's what it all boiled down to, and his character and, and how people is looking at him at this point. You feel me? I feel like that that right there is where the separation is is right now. That 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 thing where people like down when everybody looked at me, kid with the nappy braids and all of that. We thinking that this guy got he got a humble heart, humble spirit. I think the worst thing for a person to see, to look at a celebrity and have an idea of this person being this type of way, and then they come back and they just this awful person to everybody. You know what I mean? And then you're like, damn, I thought this guy was a good guy. He was, now you started to see this nigga talk a lot and then say shit. you like, this dude, this he ain't a good dude. This ain't a good dude, man. That's what you led with because the way he acting towards the kids, like, that shit was so fucked up, man. Like, <laughs> I hate to say that shit. That shit was so fucked up. And then, see, dude, this one made it even more crazy. This nigga going to clubhouse and said, man, I ain't do that. I ain't get them that because I thought they was going to go smoke some weed or something. I ain't paying them no money to go smoke no weed. It's like, bro, you actually said that shit on the clubhouse joint. You sound retarded, bro. Like, nigga, real stand-up niggas don't talk like that, bro. That shit make you look crazy. The world hearing this shit, you on the clubhouse saying that shit. <laughs> I said, my nigga, me is fucking off the rockers, bro. I'm, I'm with pound side pot at this point. Like, bro, what is you taking? There's no way in hell, bro, that you would get on a clubhouse out and say that. <laughs> and think niggas going to be feeling that. Your numbers going to go down. Like, niggas is not feeling that. You do the Kobe shit. I'm like, bro, what the fuck is you doing? <laughs> Like, what is he? I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know. I just think there's a lot of ego and, and, and just a person not understanding everybody's watching and listening, bro. Like, you can't just say anything, bro. And then on top of that, you got to think of the coach. You are the culture. So ain't nobody going to give you no sympathy. <laughs> they just not. They not going to give you no sympathy, man. But... Like I said, he got to live with the shit he's saying and live with the shit he's doing, bro. I ain't going to go too, too deep on it. I just feel like meat is fucking up in a lot of ways. And this is not one scenario, one thing. This have been going on over and over again, bro. And all the celebrity niggas that fuck with me try to save him. But he got to save himself by not keep doing stuff that don't make sense. Or saying shit that's offensive as hell, bro. Like... Come on, bro. You you been in the game long enough to know how to to operate in the game, like not to be saying no shit like that when people looking up to you, got this high ass respect for you, and then you say these things or do these things. It's like, come on, bro. We gotta do better than that, bro. But I'm out, G. Nah, y'all gotta chill with that rumor shit, bro. You know what I mean? I ain't, this song I just put out is no diss track. It's not a diss track. I don't got to diss niggas to be. I just had to get back in my bag on niggas, but it's not a diss track. Black is a term we use in the towns. It's like, yo, black, hey, black. It's not no fucking Kodak black diss. Like, shut the fuck up. Y'all weird. 
But I ain't even mad, cause shit, the shit is promo, so I ain't even mad. Everybody fuck with some promo, so y'all can make up some shit all y'all want all day. That shit happened. Yo, bro, come on.